All right, Bruin fans. Uh, you know, spring practice just ended. Um, a lot of things to work. A lot of things to work on this coming football season. Because, uh, the spring game was yesterday. Obviously, I'm five hours away from from the Rose Bowl. There's no way I can travel down there as much as I'd want to. But what I have been getting is a lot of reports about this off season, and um, really we've been changing systems ever since uh, to really work on our offense. We're going to try to put in the pistol offense, reported to me. Um, I don't know if it's going to be our main system, and I'm, I'm so used to pro-style offense in the Pac-10. This is something new. Like It's going to be a mixture of what Nevada does, maybe what Oregon does with the spread. Uh, but the pistol offense is reported to be a new, new style of system that the UCLA Bruins plan to do. Uh, a lot of things are going to be redone on the defensive side. This coming fall, we're really going to have to depend on this, this new pistol offensive system if we want to stay in games, because the defense is young. Let's face it, it, there's a lot of good recruits, you know, straight out of high school, but they're still raw. A lot of these guys will be sophomores or freshmen. Uh, Akeem Ayers is going to lead the linebacking crew. He had a solid breakout year last season, uh, including that pick six against Temple. That was awesome. Uh, for the defensive line, Detani Jones, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing his name wrong, but he plans to be the leader on the, the line, seeing that no more Brian Price. Uh, for the, the secondary, Raheem Moore is still there. He's the safety, as we know. And yes, he led the nation in interceptions. But uh, uh, to accompany him, Tony Dye will still be there. Uh, Sheldon Price, who was young, he took over last year. And Aaron Hester, hopefully he's healthy again. We'll take the other side for the cornerback position. Uh, Steve Sloan for linebacking. Um, some position changes have gone on. You know, former running back Christian Ramirez has now switched to safety, I believe. Uh, Glenn Love, who was once a safety, has switched to linebacker. They're really flipping the positions around. Uh, plus, we, we also recruited a bunch of athletes on the defensive end. But either way, this defense is going to be very young. Um, they don't have the highest of expectations for them. But I do expect their secondary to be the biggest strength because uh, a lot of those, those guys are all back and they all got valuable playing time last year. So secondary should be fine. Don't know about the front seven. That's a big question. On the uh, offensive side of the ball, we're finally playing with all these athletes that we recruited, like Jonathan Franklin, uh, Rell Presley. He, he could play more than one position. Uh, Randall Carroll, uh, Damian Thigpen. All of those guys are all kind of playing around position-wise and see what they're good with. Uh, Morrell Presley was supposed to be a tight end, but now he's listed as a fullback. I mean, maybe I'm a little confused there, but he could, he could be a tight end or wide receiver. Just a lot of tweening there. Uh, the tailback position, expected to be Jonathan Franklin. I hope he holds on to the ball. Uh, Derek Coleman, you know, I think he was pretty solid, uh, even though he got little playing time. And then Milton Knox was used on some wildcat plays last year, so... I'd love to see Milton Knox jump the, uh, the depth chart, but UCLA's coaching staff knows what it's doing. I'm not going to question their decisions. Um, the other fallbacks that are coming in is Damian Thigpen, and Damian Thigpen switching to that position. He was kind of a running back last year, but I'm here they're trying to convert him to a fullback. we got Taylor Embry, Nelson Rosario, still going to be part of the wide receiving core. But one thing that will be interesting is if Jerry Rice Jr., jumps on to the wide receiving for uh, some of you don't realize he actually is a walk-on to our program and he didn't go to his father's alma mater at Mississippi, Mississippi Valley State so if Jerry Rice Jr. makes an impact as a walk-on it'd be interesting the offensive line for the most part is returning uh, with the exception of Xavier Suofilo who's on a Mormon mission I wish him the best in the block uh, wherever he's going so you know Eddie Williams uh, Ryan Taylor Cam IVF Jeff Baca all those guys in the offensive line should be back. Uh, some of those freshmen who we recruited from the linemen last year have redshirted. Hopefully their bodies are now unfit to take places when they rotate the offensive line. That'll be the biggest key with uh, the offensive line position. Um, just a little word there, but it should be much more improved because they've had some experience now under their belt. So Good job there. Tight end position is Corey Harkey. As you all know, Corey Harkey is the guy who caught the touchdown against Stanford two years ago. Um, Joseph Fari is the Notre Dame transfer. He's been injured, though, reported to be. It's kind of sad that 
two guys that transferred, Josh Smith and Joe Safaria. Um, both guys are injured right now. And uh, Josh Smith is a wide receiver. And lastly, the quarterback position, Kevin Prince, he switched to number four over the, this offseason. He's expected to be the starter. Um, the Tesla offense transition should not be a problem with him because he's familiar with it through high school. Um, Richard Brihu and Nick Chrisman are the backups. Brihu, people thought he would transfer because he might not get much playing time, but it's reported he should be staying uh, no matter what. He's there to compete. Maybe he'll find playing time if Prince is injured, but Kevin Prince, I really have my faith in this fresh Prince of Bel Air, as we like to call him. For those of you out of state people watching, Bel Air is not far from the UCLA campus. So. That's about all for spring practice. It's going to be a lot of work this summer. Wade Yandel was the only person in the following class to enroll in the spring, so I'm happy he got valuable playing time. Kai Forbath should be automatic from the kicking point. He was your Browser Award winner and Jeff Locke was your, is a solid punter. He's a power, has a powerful boot by the way. So it's good to see that. It's good to see guys working on this team. Uh, there's just going to be a lot of pro, uh, work needed on the defense, and uh, I think the team realizes that. We'll see what happens. Uh, this will probably be the last UCLA football video until the summer. I'll be making Pac-10 videos over the summer, and uh, you'll be seeing a little bit more of that. Uh, side note, congratulations to the UCLA gymnastics team for winning the uh, national title. They, I heard it came down to a Vols uh, score, and they converted well on it. So congrats to the gymnastics. We got 105 NCAA titles overall out of all sports. So hopefully we see this, these ladies in the Olympics soon. We'll see you all later, and let's go Bruins.